Established 25 years ago, the University of Abuja Act was envisaged to be a first-class international institution to train manpower for the nation's increasing industry. But through alleged mismanagement, poor funding and corruption, the school has struggled to put up infrastructure on her permanent site, which is located on over 11,000 hectares of land on the outskirts of the city. My guest is the Vice-Chancellor of the institution. Hello there, thanks for joining me on the program. I'm Gloria Umeduke. Accusations and counter-accusations have trailed the crisis that is rocking the only federal university in the nation's capital, the University of Abuja. The bone of contention includes poor infrastructure and non-accreditation of some programs. On this week's edition, my guest, the Vice-Chancellor of the University of Abuja, Professor James Adilabu, speaks on the events that have taken place in the school. But right now, the National Association of the Nigerian Students are unsatisfied with the disbursement of funds in the sector, and so they tell the minister to give proper account. That and more coming up right ahead. The idea is to provide a forum to discuss the activities of government in various sectors and hear the opinions of the young people. The gathering drew a significant attendance of tertiary education students, youth corpus and youth leaders across board. As a run-up to Democracy Day, Nigerians have been very critical of just how much the Jonathan administration has offered so far. Where is the role of young people? Our ministers will be telling us the plans of government for us as young people. But I will be asking us as young people, what do we want to be remembered for? The Minister of Education explains that attention has shifted from dependence on budgetary allocation to development funds and partnerships. She expressed worry over the little invested in capital projects, like in the 2013 budget where 426 billion naira was allocated to education and only a mere 65 billion naira was spared for capital projects. The money we have will also will have to go into the major areas of needs. If we have channeled our resources, if we would do channel our resources to major areas of need, then definitely we will go a long way in addressing the sector. While accepting the initiatives and funds allegedly pumped into the education system is hard for those directly involved, some others are more worried.